All right, so our next step or our first step into our creating our uh, inventory is to look at the inventory data, as we might have, I might have said. Now in this in, uh, in, uh, inventory data, we need to essentially change this to something. Uh, on the top, I'm going to add a class name, item data. Now this will essentially allow me to create an item data uh, using our class. Now, instead of extending control, we're going to actually extend resource. Now, resource is not a node in Godot, but it is something called resource. It's its own thing. And we'll kind of take a look at how we can use resources right after this script. But to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create an enum type. Uh, we can either do lowercase or whatever we'd like. I'm going to do uppercase T and then type like so. And this is the type of inventory item. Now here, we're only going to have two. We're going to have misc and main. Now main is going to be the main inventory item. So if this is an inventory slot, then this is what it's for. If it's a misc, then that's a usable item like a potion or something like that. Now what we'll do is we're going to export variable type, and we're going to use the type, static typing, to export the type. So the type kind of repetitive to say type, but essentially we're going to take this guy and export these two things. Now export is something very cool in Godot that we'll take a look at in just a second. But what we're going to do is I'm going to just duplicate these lines a few times. And now I'm going to change these to item name. I'm going to change this to item. Uh, I'm not going to change that to stack the item. I'm going to change this to stackable. This will be a Boolean. Let's change this to Boolean. and. This will be a string up here. So the item name is a string. This one is going to be a count. And this one is going to be a integer. The next one we're going to have, or we can have uh, an export multi-line. And we can export the description. And these are just common things that I would uh, have inside of an item uh, uh, inventory. Or so for my items, right? I would have these kind of things. And the last thing that we should have is a item texture, and we can export a texture 2D. Now we'll save this, and what we're going to do is now we're going to create our resource. Now the question is, well, how do I create that resource? Well, what we'll do is we're going to go over to our plants, or we can actually put it in the inventory. We'll create a new folder, call this resources. Inside of this resource, I'm going to create a new resource. And at the very top, you're going to see resource, and I can just hit create. And we'll name this tomato. Now, in this guy, we will double click this, and you'll see on the top right, we have tomato.press, but there is no script. So we're going to take our data, our item data, or inventory data, sorry, that we just created, and drop this in. And now you can see a bunch of things. Now, these are the things that we uh, exported, right? And now we can change a few things to do this. Now, I do realize that we actually don't have tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a egg uh, for the texture. But for the item name, we can say tomato. We can say that this is stackable. The count will just put it to one by uh, default by one, meaning the first time I add something, it should automatically count to one or starting from one, right? For the description, I can just say this is a fake tomato since it's not actually, it doesn't look like a tomato. And then the type is a misc, so it's not a main, it's on an inventory slot. It is a misc item. And that's about it. So now uh, that is basically all we need to do for our uh, inventory in terms of data. So now we have a bunch of data inside of our resource that we can now load into our inventory. The next part is looking at the inventory item. So we'll take a look at that in the next part and how we can set that up.